Hello super users, so today we're going to learn how you can add in slurs and hairpins instantly. Like perhaps hairpins that don't collide with dynamics, slurs that cover the entire phrase you select, or perhaps slurs that automatically break at repeated notes, perhaps slurs that automatically break over rests, or even slurs that don't break over those same rests, or perhaps even slurs that only get applied to grace notes. And all that was in real time without even having to click and drag to create your own manual slurs. Now before we begin, YouTube tells me a full three quarters of you aren't subscribed to this channel and are missing out on a ton of useful finale tips. So right now, check to make sure you're subscribed, that way you can become a finale super user. Now to do all of this, we are going to have to use a couple third party tools with finale. Those mainly being the Jetstream Finale Controller, I have an entire video on this if you have no idea what Jetstream is. Keyboard Maestro, again, I have several videos on Keyboard Maestro if you don't know what that is. Unfortunately, Keyboard Maestro does only work on Macs, but I'm fairly sure you can find Windows equivalents, like perhaps using Auto Hockey. I know that's a popular one. And the last tool that we're going to be using is JW Pattern. And again, if you aren't familiar with JW plugins, I have an entire video that goes over what they are, how to install them, and some of the really useful things you can do with them. So first, we're going to start off with the Jetstream Finale Controller. Now, the Jetstream Finale Controller is mainly built off of Stream Deck technology and JW Lua. Now, the JW Lua that comes with the Jetstream Finale Controller is what powers a lot of these useful automations. Like, for instance, in No Entry, there is a button explicitly to add hairpins. There's also a button over here under smart lines to add in slurs and as you can see there's buttons to add in multiple other things so we're basically going to hijack the jw lewis scripts provided with the jetstream finale controller to trigger them on our own with keyboard maestro that way we can trigger these just with our keyboard so the first thing to notice is that if you go to one of these buttons like hairpins and you scroll all the way down to the bottom that basically it's going to call the jw lewis script under plugins jw lewis jetstream finale controller and then it's going to type in this little code manually what that will look like is if we highlight something come up here to plugins jw lua and this is assuming that you have the jetstream finale controller already installed jetstream finale controller and then we're going to type in 0022 and hit enter and voila it's added in those hairpins for us so if we want to trigger that JW Lewis script with our keyboard, all we have to do is write a keyboard maestro macro that does the exact same steps. So over here in keyboard maestro, you can see I have a macro set up with these exact same steps. So all it does is it opens up the Jetstream Finale Controller JW Lewis script in plugins JW Lua Jetstream Finale Controller, waits until the actual window displays by saying wait until the button that says OK is displayed, types in the text, and then hits OK. And similarly, there is a JW Lua script for decrescendos. So if we click on decrescendos and then scroll all the way down to the bottom of the Apple script, and we can see the number is 0023, which means we can create a keyboard maestro macro and does the same thing, but with 0023. And to actually trigger these with the keyboard, they are triggered with a hotkey. Now I use X for decrescendo and Z for crescendo. You can use literally whatever you want in this hotkey, but once you set it up, all you have to do is go back over here, highlight some music, it could be multiple staves, it could be your entire score if you want. And then just trigger in that Keyboard Maestro macro. Plus, as you might have noticed by now, the Stream Deck actually has another button over here for slurs. So we can do the exact same process. We just go down here, scroll down to the bottom, 0609, and then we can create a brand new Keyboard Maestro macro. Same exact process, calls the JW Lewis script, waits until there's a button that says OK, types in the text 0609, and then presses the button OK. And this is the JW Lewis script that will automatically add slurs to the entire phrase. It'll skip rests. It'll also skip repeated notes like this. So if you ever want to have a slur that spans an entire phrase, this is exactly what you can do. And it's really, really simple to use. With that said, there are not any options, like if I showed you before, to have it break at individual notes. That's not possible with this JW Lewis script. So we're going to have to find another way to do this. Now, JW Pattern is what actually allows you to get all these different really cool patterns for slurs. So let's just open up JW Pattern. And you can see I have initially the marking that says full phrase until rest. That's what basically most of what I was showing off to you earlier. And that's where it automatically stops at repeated notes and it automatically stops over rests. Really useful for things like string bowings or when you are really getting into the nitty gritty of tonguing versus slurring. But it also has a ton of other really cool patterns you can use for slurs. For instance, you can have it only do on grace notes. So if I come over here and highlight 
this grace notes measure and hit apply, it only adds the slurs to the grace notes. Really, really cool. You can also have it grouped by measures, so like every four measures there's a slur, every two beats there's a slur, every three notes there's a slur. Pretty much most patterns you could possibly think of, there is a option here for you, including doing dotted slurs. You can add dotted slurs really quickly and easily with this. So now how do you actually use this with Keyboard Maestro? Now this is going to be a bit of a longer setup, but trust me, it's worth it. So the first thing is, is that to use this method, you're going to have to stop using JW pattern manually. We just want to keep it nice and closed like this. That way, whenever we want to add slurs, we could just open it up and add a slur and hit apply. But once we start using JW pattern manually, it'll become very, very hard to automate it. So to get around this problem, what we're going to do is we're actually going to install JW pattern multiple times in Finale. As you might be able to see here, I have it initially installed in the JDB plugins folder called JDB Pattern 64. This is the one that we're never going to use manually, but basically what it will do, by always keeping it in the initial setup state, it'll automatically reset all the other copies of JDB Pattern every time we load up Finale. And we're going to have another copy in a folder called Slur, and then we're going to just copy and paste to put the bundle there. And that's why over here in plugins, JDB plugins, there is both JDB pattern here and JDB pattern under a slur folder. And we're going to automate the version of JDB pattern in this slur folder. And if you don't see it here right away, you may have to restart Finale. So now let's go back to Keyboard Maestro. I have a, another slur function over here called slur notes. And essentially what this is first going to do is it's going to open up JDB pattern into the slur folder. And then the basic process is once we have it open, we're just going to click on this little arrow, click on slurs, and then hit apply and close. And then if you wanted to add in these slurs for only grace notes or any of the other patterns, you just select another thing in this dropdown and then hit apply and close. And so once we say to open it, we're just gonna pause until it actually is open by saying, have a pause condition until the front window title is JW pattern. And then the next thing we're gonna do is basically see, hey, is JW pattern already set up? Does it already look like this? If so, we just have to hit apply and close. And so basically we just have an image condition saying, hey, if the screen does not contain this image, then we're gonna do all the setup. If not, just skip over and hit apply and then close. And the easy way to add this image is that we're gonna just hit command shift four. This basically just allows you on any Mac to start taking a screenshot. We're gonna hit space. Space just says, hey, take a screenshot of a specific window, not a specific area. And then over the JW pattern window, just click anywhere and you can see the screenshot. And then quickly, just drag the screenshot over here on top of the image condition. And that's just gonna copy the image over here and it will just all work wonderfully. And so again, it's just gonna say, hey, if this is already set up, just hit apply and close. If it's not set up, we're gonna first click this little arrow and then click slurs. And so as you can see, we're gonna first click the arrow and that's at 31, 133. That for your reference is from the top right corner. It's 31 and 133 down. And then another pause condition that just makes sure that this little slur text is actually visible and then click on the slur text, which is at 74, 170, and then continue. Now, if you're curious, these mouse things, where it says save the mouse position as a variable and then set the mouse position to that variable, that's just that way once Keyboard Maestro clicks everything, the mouse turns back to where it was. It's like if the mouse is already here, it can go click, click, and then it'll move back over here. And most importantly, once you get this done, assign it to a different keyboard shortcut, like I have the keyboard shortcut Shift S. So now if I wanted to break these slurs up where there are repeated notes, I just highlight everything, and do the Shift S keyboard shortcut. So if you want to learn more or install any of this software, I have links to everything in the description below. And as always, if you have any questions on the process, feel free to comment. I will respond to them as soon as I can. And that is how you can add slurs and hairpins into your scores instantly.